So these are known as the Holy Grail of the aeroid world, Philodendron Spiritus Santi. And this is definitely right now the most expensive plant that you could buy. Last I saw, it was around $7,000 for one of these guys. The Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, or PSS for short, has become legendary in the rare plant community. It's part of the aeroid family, like many leafy houseplants, peace lilies and arrowheads, for instance, but it's way more rare. The critically endangered PSS is native to Brazil, where only a handful still live in the wild. They're slow growing and really tough to reproduce. It's become a status symbol among collectors, like a leafy Rolex. And like a Rolex, the PSS is catching the eye of some nefarious admirers. The main emotion I feel is disgust. I mean, you know, how could somebody do this? Ari Novi is the man in charge of the San Diego Botanic Garden. In May, the garden noticed their PSS suddenly looked really different. So there, there was a main body of this plant that extended out and hung way, way down. This was a pretty large specimen. It really was an amputation. Um, somebody essentially came in here and cut the head and torso off of this plant. We very purposefully installed this plant here in one of these floating plant chandeliers because it's hard to get to. Somebody came up here with a pole saw or, or a telescopic loppers of some kind and cut the plant off. I mean, I'm trying to understand it. So a pole saw, so you're holding it in your hand and you're targeting that stem right there? Clearly, the person who took this plant wanted one plant and one plant only. What kind of depraved person, you know, wants to take a plant from a public institution, you know, where it's meant to be enjoyed by everybody and, and you know, steal that into a private universe where it's now for the enjoyment of one or very few people so dishonestly? Botanic gardens have been protecting endangered plants since the 1500s. They now house a third of all plant species. But many got their early inventory through methods we'd today describe as theft. For instance, Sir Henry Wickham smuggled 70,000 rubber seeds out of Brazil under the guise of academic research. There's long been a tension between preserving biological diversity and capitalizing on human fascination with rare flora. It's just that today, gardens are the ones being stolen from. It took us a day to process that this uh, philodendron spiritus sancti was, was stolen. We immediately contacted law enforcement and then we immediately started our own internal investigation. But it's not like there's you know, anybody who really specializes on the police force and agricultural crime and this kind of crime. We also had people who said, you know, we're seeing some suspicious activity, you know, even on social media. There was a, an aroid collector who had been visiting our garden just in the month preceding this theft, and who had taken pictures of our plant and talked about how much he was drooling over. And after the theft, um, started posting some pictures of plants that some people thought could have been our plant. I go to my door and I find a, a card on my door saying it was from a detective. So I give my call back and she tells me that somebody said that I may have stolen the PSS and if I knew anything about that. So I answer all her questions and she thanked me for the information. Yeah, I couldn't believe that, that somebody would um, accuse me of that. The chatter speculated that Jerry somehow acquired the stolen PSS through Eric. One of my really good friends, he admitted to committing theft at a botanical garden and I'm one of his really longtime friends, and unfortunately, sometimes a person can be guilty by association. It didn't help that around the time the plant went missing, Jerry posted a photo of a new PSS on his Instagram. Then he deleted it. This plant here, it's very yellowed, um, even starting to brown. That would be um, suggestive of a plant that's been separated from its root system. You sold a third PSS. I did, yeah. Some people were saying maybe that was the one stolen from the botanical garden. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, he I heard about that as well. 
So. What was it? No, not at all. No, that was uh, I got that one from my friend Eric. I gave my good friend uh, PSS a couple years ago. It wasn't doing well with me. Uh, eventually, it grew to a nice large size, and I asked for a cutting of it back. He gave me a cutting, but since it was straight from the plant, it wasn't doing very good at all. I see how it looks, but spreading rumors, that's when it gets a little dicey. You put it on Instagram, right? And then what happened next? I, I took it down because there was a whole witch hunt going on. I did not want to get involved in that at all because I know how people just start accusing each other of just uh, well, these crazy things. This is not what I got into the hobby for. I just think with the current prices in the market, somebody saw it there and was like, you know what? It's, it's right there. I'm going to get it and I'm going to make a profit off of it. I was heartbroken that somebody would do that because I've personally have had plans stolen and I wouldn't want anyone to go through that. Mm -hmm.